So now we're talking about posture. So I'm gonna have you take this behind your back. Okay, one head is at the end and my tailbone is at the other. Can you feel that? Okay. I'm gonna open my legs a little bit wider and I'm gonna go into a squat, keeping my spine long. Because you know what? A lot of times people don't know when I'll say sit up straight, they don't know what straight is. So we have curves in our body, natural curves in our spine. So there's a curve in our neck, okay? Then I have my upper back and then there's a curve in my mid back to lower back, okay? And then my sacrum will touch this. So everyone's gonna be a little bit different. Some people are more arched and some people are more tucked under. Okay, so we're gonna just keep ourselves as long as possible, as neutral as possible. And here I go, I'm gonna go forward and come up. So I'm hinging at my hip and using my glutes. Okay, my back does not change. Forward and up. So a lot of times if we're doing a squat, people will do this, okay? They'll kind of round, they don't even realize. So if I'm keeping really solid here, I wanna fold at that hip socket and then come back up. So no change in my spine. So it's great to do a couple of these so you understand what that means. So now we're gonna get a stretch in our upper back. So right at where your shoulder blades, right below your bra line, you're gonna go right there. A lot of times in Pilates, we're saying close your ribs, close your ribs, close your ribs. All right, now we're gonna stretch you. We're gonna allow you to open those ribs. Feet slightly apart, knees bent. I'm gonna just hold on here, rolling my shoulders back. And now from that place where it's hitting me, I'm not gonna just drop into my lower back. I'm gonna keep my abdominals engaged, but from this place, let me stand back a little bit. I'm gonna lift and come back. That's a really different feeling, but you can get it with this, with the um, broomstick or dowel behind your back. Lift, pull those abdominals in, lift and come in. So it doesn't mean that I'm going like this, dropping everything. No, I'm lifting up and over where the stick is. Again, and lower. All right, so hinging at the hips. This is great for golfers, okay? So here's your rotation. I'm gonna rotate. My one shoulder comes forward, my other shoulder goes back and come back to center. I'm gonna rotate back to center, hips stay forward. Twist, forward. Twist, when I say forward, I mean center. Rotate, center, rotate. So as much as my left shoulder is coming forward, my right shoulder goes back, my hips giving just a teeny bit and coming back. This is where we get stuck. As we get older, because again, we're not moving as much, we tend to get stuck right in the rib cage. You know, you'll see golfers swinging and practicing. It's a great thing, because we want that rotation. Okay, this is coming from my waist. Okay, back here is coming from my rib cage. And my waist is involved, obviously but the rotation is a little bit higher. And just know in your swing, in your golf swing, and I'm gonna preface this by saying I am not a golfer, but I surely have worked with enough of them. But in your golf swing, not only do you uh, rotate from those obliques, that rib cage has got to be able to come through. So these are a couple things to try. Try and see if it makes you feel a little bit more motion in the upper body.